What's going on YouTube? My name's Alex, and this is Ask the Cheese Gaming. I'm back with a new review for you today. This time, I'm going to be talking about Bayonetta for the Xbox 360. It was developed by Platinum Games and published by Sega. It was released for the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 on October 29th of 2009. This game was later ported to the PC, Wii U, Switch, PlayStation 4, and also Xbox One. So, first question we have to ask is, well, what exactly is Bayonetta? Simply put, it's a fast-paced, tough-as-nails hack-and-slash game where you play as the lead character, Bayonetta. She's what's called an Umbrum Witch who's lost all of her memories and been caught in the middle of a war between angels and demons. I don't want to spoil much of the story, but what I will say is that some of the cutscenes and set pieces in this game feel absolutely larger than life. And some of these bosses that you face in this game, holy Jesus God, they can take a while. If anyone out there has ever played the Devil May Cry series, specifically Devil May Cry 4, this game takes a lot of influences from that series. It definitely feels like a sped up version of Devil May Cry 4. Bayonetta uses two guns, one in each of her hands, and also a gun attached to each of her heels to jump, dodge, and hack and slash and shoot and carve a swath through hordes upon hordes of angels and demons alike. Later on in the game, by performing certain tasks and collecting enough of the game's current seeds, which are halos, as you can see in this gameplay, you're able to unlock and buy other skins for some of your weapons, as well as other weapons themselves. If you're interested in what some of the weapons you can use in this game are, leave me a comment down below and I'll answer you there, but I'm trying to spoil as little of the story for you as possible. And, speaking of the game and the controls, Bayonetta handles perfectly. It's smooth, responsive, and every single button on the Xbox 360 controller does something, whether it's trying to dodge enemies at the last second, or uh, do performing a combo and then holding it and to continue shooting your enemies. There's a ton of different combos that you can perform in this game. And when you start playing this game on higher difficulties, you're gonna need them. Speaking of the game itself, the gameplay is likewise frantic, fast-paced, and high-octane. The only negative that I can see in regards to the gameplay is that it can be extremely challenging at times. And especially on the higher difficulties in this game, oh my god, it just gets to be absolutely brutal and downright unfair. In fact, after you've cleared through the game a couple times, if you choose to do that, there's one specific game mode where it's one hit instant death and you restart at the beginning of the level. It's, it's just brutal. But, what I personally believe to be the best part of this game, and that I've yet to talk about at all, has to be the music. It's just absolutely fantastic. I mean seriously, pause this video right now, Go type into YouTube, or in Google, or wherever you do. Type in the song, Bayonetta Theme, Mysterious Destiny. Or just go listen to that song, it's 2 minutes and 52 seconds long. I'll wait a moment. Okay, you listen to it, you're back. It's a pretty sweet song, if I do say so myself. In fact, I think I'll even leave one of the theme songs from this game pinned down in the comments below for you if you want to sit and listen to it. So, overall, what do I think of this game? Well, if you've played games such as the Devil May Cry series that I mentioned previously, or maybe some of the Ninja Gaiden games, then this is a game that you are absolutely going to love. Like I said before, it's fast-paced, high octane, but oh my god, can get, it can get tough. So, if you're up for a challenge, and ready to really be grouping your controller tight and try to dodge at the last second and just carve a swath through hordes of enemies, trust me, this is definitely one that's worth picking up and playing. And if it's been a while since you've played it before, hey, sometimes it's fun. Just go run through one of the chapters in the game and just see how you do since it's been a while. So, oh, quick note though, before I say my final piece for this review, 
the sequel for Bayonetta is unfortunately only on the Wii U and the Switch. So if you have those systems, you can actually find bundles with Bayonetta 1 and 2. If that's something you'd be interested in. But to close out this video, if you're new here, like I said, my name's Alex. This is Ask the Cheese Gaming, where I primarily do Nintendo 64 reviews. But sometimes I like to branch out and look at other video games and other genres. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And if you're one of my subscribers and you're checking out my review of Bayonetta, then hey, leave me a like, comment, and a share, and let me know what you think. As always, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next review. Bye.